ಪವಿತ್ರವತು ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಬೈ 
five structures are possible. First and fifth structure. Do you think they are same? Or you can see when the electrons B sign benzene, the six pi electrons are delocalized, which is proved here. They are going from one place to another place and they can only travel one bond distance, not more than that. They can also like this relay race. One person is shifting, giving, transferring to some something to another, another like that. They cannot jump. So one bond distance only is possible. And therefore you are getting and you can see that the deficiency is coming during this delocalization of electrons. You can see that the deficiency is coming in two orbital positions and one para position. That is one observation. Second observation in the structure one, you have written one set of alternatable bonds in benzene, and in the fifth, it is shifted to the another set of double bonds. That means benzene is a resonating structure. You can write this structure or that structure to that way. Or that also prove that there is delocalization of pi electrons in benzene. That is why it is not treated as a unsaturated compound, but benzene is a saturated compound. <coughs> One more observation: both orthoposition position and para position is deficient in electrons. So suppose on this electrophile is attacking. In which position the electrophile can attack? The one, what is the electrophile? The one which is having love for electrons or the one which likes electrons. In these resonating structure, where the electrons are available, pure more metaposition. Therefore, electrophilic substitution reaction can take place only in metaposition, not in both or two para. But if nucleophilic substitution reaction has to take place, then it will take place in ortho or para position. So that is why you get all the clues that what will be the outcome of the reaction or what is going to be the product form by studying the reaction mechanism. <coughs> now we are going to the another type of cathodic ions. I thought we will study some reactions involving cathodic ions which are can you give some examples of the reaction where carbocations are involved as intermediate, reactive intermediates? Let us take some reactions. Substitution reactions, addition reactions, elimination reactions, and arrangement, rearrangement reactions. Everywhere there is a possibility of formation of carbocation as intermediate. So let us take one example of substitution reaction that is SNO reaction. <coughs> what is the full form of SNO reaction? One stands for unimolecular or monomolecular and means nucleophilic and that is substitution. So it is nucleophilic substitution reaction which is monomolecular. What is the meaning of monomolecular? When there are always, I have written down the example, a general example, A plus B reacts to give you C plus D. So in the beginning, when the reactants are two, if the rate of the reaction depends upon both, then it is not mono. Okay, it is di. But we are talking about mono or unimolecular. That means the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of one that is substrate. So that is therefore it is monomolecular reaction. Now let us take the example of Which molecule I have written down? Which molecule I have written down? Tertiary butyl bromide. Tertiary butyl bromide. This is going to give you. What will it give you? If you have studied in earlier classes, can you tell me what will it give you? As you are studying carbocations. So mechanism or carbocations. We are talking about now. Carbocations. That means it must be involving carbocation as the intermediate. That is generally logically misunderstood. So it gives tertiary bromo, tertiary butyl carbocation and bromide as anion. Now, what is the geometry of this? 
What is the stereochemistry of Hershey butyl bromide? It is tetrahedral, three dimensional, and the bond angle is 109 degree, 28 minutes. Now, what is the geometry of this? It is trigonal, planar, and sp2 hybrids. What is the hybridization of this? Trigonal, planar. What is the hybridization of tertiary to type bromide? It is sp3 hybridized because one all four bonds are there, single bonds. Therefore, it is sp3 hybridized and this is sp2 hybridized, only three bonds and one deficiency. So, and it is planar. So, therefore, because it is planar and it is flat ion, now if you are holding it vertically, then what is the, going to attack on this? The substrate which is in nucleophile. So we are considering the hydrolysis of tertiary butyl bromide. So now the nucleophile is attacking on this is OH minus alkaline hydrolysis. Now how this nucleophile is going to attack on the substrate because this is the intermediate, therefore this is not stable ion and therefore this is going to attack. Now because it is planar, if you are holding it vertically like this, then the incoming nucleophile can come either from right or from left. Okay. Equal propylene. If you are holding the planar carbocation horizontally, then it can come from down or it can come from top, which is not possible here. We will discuss this later on. So when it is coming, suppose it is coming from front. It is coming from front. What we gave up? So I remove this. This is not required for our product. So I am writing. Suppose we are, this is coming from front. What is formed? Tertiary butyl alcohol is formed. But how will this be formed? It is coming from the same side. The leading group is coming. So what is going to be the stereochemistry of the product? There is retention of the configuration. Okay. So you are getting. CH3, CH3, CH3 and retention of configuration. Is this the only possibility we have done that we can attack the carbocation from both the sides? So either from right or from left. If it is attacking from left, what is the outcome? What is the outcome? So, if we are writing from front, what is going to be the stereochemistry? Inversion. Inversion of configuration. This you can understand very well when I give you an example. Let us write first. So, is this looking at inversion of configuration? Fast. No interference and 
it is preferred. So therefore, what do you think? When you get suppose if there is metric carpool, then uh, whether retention of configuration, this is retention of configuration, and this is inversion of configuration. Which one is preferred? Inversion. Because the leading group is leading, still the side is hinder and the incoming group is coming from the same side, then retention of configuration will take more time. So if it is an unsymmetric asymmetric center, then this sigma sigma will be formed in little less something. But the one which is with inversion in configuration, the leading group is going from one side and the incoming group is coming from the back side, then inversion of configuration that will take place much faster as compared to this. Therefore, we never get a racemic mixture. But we will get the compound which is a mixture which is optically active and the optical activity resultant with the further component which is having whatever dextrorotatory or evorotatory that will be the optical rotation of the mixture. Is this understood? Yes. So this is what is asymptom mechanism. Now we have taken in this case tertiary butyl bromide. What happens to the methyl bromide? Why? In this case, now you must have seen that first the ionization is taking place. Why not the nucleophile that is attacking in the beginning? If nucleophile is also attacking in the beginning, that means both the molecules or both the reactants are taking place at the time. That means the reaction will depend upon the concentration of both. But that is not happening. Why? Okay, let us consider another case that is methyl bromide. <coughs> In methyl bromide, what you have seen? It agonizes like this, or now let us see. Methyl bromide. In methyl bromide, what is the group present? Hydrogen, 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 which is smallest in the periodic table. Therefore, there is no crowding on the central carbon atom. And therefore, there is space available for the attacking nucleophile to come in the beginning. Therefore, you can say the hydroxy group is going to attack in the beginning. Because there is no hunter to attack. There is space available. And therefore, this will give you this is possible. Is that possible in the tertiary butyl? No. Why it is not possible? Because of the steric nucleus. Now here, because they are the bulky groups, as compared to this, this site for the attack of the nucleophile is not, not possible. It tries and it comes back. It cannot attack because there is no space available, no site available. And therefore, I will it ionizes and then right on a planar carbon atom is formed having more space the bond angle is 120 and therefore it can be formed or first step is therefore depending upon the ionization of the tertiary butyl bromide and therefore it depends on the rate of reaction depends only on the concentration of tertiary butyl bromide therefore it is unimolecular reaction now once it is reorganized the carbon tank then attack from any side is possible because there is site available on both the sides and therefore you get two products. But in this case because no bulky groups very small atom and therefore the attack from back side initially is possible and therefore it is SN2 reaction 2 means bimolecular and nucleophilic substitution. So the nucleophile as well as the substrate both are taking part in the beginning and therefore it is pyrolytical reaction. And therefore you get a leading group is leading from this side and there is a partial negative charge and the bond which is forming is coming from the back side and therefore it is transition state or very high energy state and therefore because carbon is almost spent away in there and therefore this is giving rise to product which is having inversion of configuration or retention of configuration 
Inversion of configuration or retention of configuration? Inversion of configuration. Because the incoming row or the nucleophile is coming from the back side of the leading row, there is, there, there is always inversion in configuration. So that is what is SN2. And then it is primary carbon, then SN2, tertiary carbon, then it ionizes and two step reaction, therefore it is SN1. Is this understood? Then we go to the next type, that is SN1, SN2, then the substitution reactions we have done. Now we will do some other type of reaction, that is addition reaction. Now what do you understand by addition reaction? Substitution, when substitution happens, when the molecule is saturated. When the molecule is saturated, only substitution is possible. There is no addition possible. But if the starting compound is unsaturated, then there is addition possible. So therefore we will do electrophilic addition reaction. Electrophilic addition reaction. What is an electrophile? The one which likes electrons. That means it itself is deficient in electrons. Therefore, there is a liking for electrons for the opposite rings attraction or opposite poles attract like that. So it is positively charged or deficient in electrons. So in ele what is the meaning of addition reaction? That means the addition is happening or the substrate is unsaturated containing a double bond or a triple bond. To this, only the reagent is going to be added and therefore there is no byproduct, there is only sole product form. So in this case, A plus B is going to give only C, there is no formation of C. So what is the nature of A, that is the subject, it has to be unsaturated. Correct no? Then only addition will happen, across the double bond. So let us take the example of ethylene. Now what is the nature of your reagent? Suppose we take hydrogen bromide, then in this what is formed, addition only is going to happen and therefore we are going to get the product as ethyl bromide. Only addition is taking place, therefore it is ethyl bromide. That is the product. Let us see the mechanism of this. How the, in this what is the intermediate going to be formed? Carbocation, that is what we are studying. So let us see how the carbocation is formed. I told you reagent is almost always inorganic, that means it is ionic in nature. So in the first step, this will ionize or this will give the ions. So the reagent is giving you ions, that is proton plus bromide. In this, which is electrophile? Which one is electrophile? The one which likes electrons. We are already electron rich, therefore it cannot be an electrophile. This is an electrophile. So if proton is an electrophile, from the reagent, from the reagent which is attacking on the substrate, we are getting electrophile as well as nucleophile. From electrophile and nucleophile, whatever attacks first on the substrate, that is the name of the reaction. So if electrophile is attacking, it will be electrophilic addition reaction. We are studying addition reaction because we know the molecule substrate is unsaturated. So that if from this the nucleophile is attacking first, then that will be known as nucleophilic addition reaction. But there is a competition with and here what is no competition here what is available on the substrate? That depends upon the nature of the substrate. Whether nucleophile will attack first or electrophile will attack first. So your base substrate is what? Unsaturated. What is available on substrate? What is available on substrate? Electro electrons are available. Why? Because there is a pi bond which is sidewise overlap and therefore it, it, it can be polarized easily in presence of reagent. And therefore it gives electrons. Therefore there are electrons available on unsaturated molecule. And therefore, electrophile only can attack first. 
not nuclear one. Therefore, the name of the reaction is going to be electrophilic addition reaction. So let us see the mechanism of this. We know what is product form. Suppose we are writing ethylene. Now we know the electrophile is only going to attack first. So therefore, in the mechanism, first step, the formation of the electrophile is nucleophile or ionization of the reagent. And then this is going to attack first. Now where this can come? There are two possibilities. If the substrate is symmetrical, symmetrical means the unsaturated carbon, this and this, both are having the same substituents. Therefore, it is a symmetrical substrate. But let us see the possibility. This can therefore come on this carbon, carbon number 1 or carbon number 2, equal probability. Suppose we write the addition is happening. So therefore, the electron, pi electrons, if they are coming like this, this <coughs> carbon, equal probability, because identical carbon. So therefore, what do you get? If the pair of electron is coming to this carbon, this becomes negatively charged and the other one is carbon number 2 is positively charged. So on the negative, proton can run, it cannot go to the positive. So therefore, it is coming to this carbon and we are getting CH3, CHN, CH3, CH2. So therefore, so you are getting carbon attack. Now this carbon attack, the remaining part of the reagent now will come and neutralize this center and we get the product. So this plus the remaining part of the reagent and we are getting CH2, CH3, CH2, we are CH3. That is ethyl bromide as the product. That is in case number 1, when this carbon or this pi bond is polarized and this becomes rich in electrons, therefore you are getting ethyl bromide as product. There is the other possibility because equal probability, both the carbons are identical. So in the other case, let us see what is formed. Now in this case, the pi electrons are going to this carbon, then what is the intermediate form? This will be rich in electrons and this is going to be deficient in electron. Carbon number 1 is deficient in electron, carbon number 2 is rich in electron. Therefore, proton can go only to carbon number 2. So, without writing this, directly we can write so that therefore, there is addition happening to carbon number 2 of the proton and then carbon number 1 is deficient in electrons. So, therefore, the remaining part of the reagent is going to go and neutralize that center. So, we are getting what product? Ethyl bromide only. So, there is no difference between whether the proton attacks carbon number 1 or it attacks carbon number 2. This is when we have the symmetrical unsaturated compound or the substrate is symmetrical or the double bond is symmetrical. One and the same. If we have the unsaturated double bonds or carbons which are not symmetrical, then whether there is only one product possible or two products possible. Let us see. So we take another example that is propene. Now this double bond between this carbon and this carbon. What is this carbon having substituents? Carbon number 1, 2, 3. So carbon number 2 and 3 are unsaturated carbons. So carbon number 2 is having the substituents which are hydrogen and methyl and carbon number 2 is 3 is having substituents which are both hydrogen. That means carbon number 2 and 3 are different unsaturated carbons or it is unsymmetrical unsaturated substrate, unsymmetrical substrate. Okay? When the substrate is unsymmetrical, even your reagent is unsymmetrical, in that case, what is possible? Now we will see, so in this, as usual, so mechanism, we are seeing first how the electrophile is formed. So your hydrogen bromide is given to electrophile plus nucleophile 
and nucleophile will keep quiet in the beginning. It will come in picture only in the second step. So first step, electrophile is attacking to the unsaturated carbon. We know the reason why. So therefore, it is going to be electrophilic addition reaction. So what is the intermediate form? When it attacks on carbon number 3, that means this is polarized, the double bond is polarized like this, that means this carbon is rich in electrons. So shall I write directly like this? So if this is the polarization, then proton is attacking or we can write one separately. So carbon number 3 and 2. So in this case, when on carbon number 3 the proton is attacking, then what is formed as the intermediate? Which carbon cation is formed? Let us see. So space 3. And we are getting on carbon number 2 deficiency. Another situation is that this attack. So this is attacking in the first step carbon number 3. In the other case, it is attacking on carbon number 2. Then CH3, CH2 and CH2. This is deficient. Carbon number 3 is deficient. In case number 1 or carbon number 3 when it is attacking the electrophile, then we are getting one carbon cation which is different than when it is attacking on carbon number 2. This carbon cation is different than that carbon cation. How the carbocations? These are stabilized. Alkyl carbocations are stabilized by the inductive effect. And we know, we have done in our previous classes, that the tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary, which is in turn more stable than primary. In this, now which is, this is case number 1, this is case number 2. So in this, which one, which one is one or two? Which carbon is more stable? One is, more, one is more stable because it is secondary carbon cation, which can also be written like this: secondary carbon cation. And this is primary carbon cation because it is on primary carbon. Primary carbon is the one where minimum two hydrogens are present, and therefore this is primary. Here only one carbon hydrogen is present, therefore this secondary carbon, and therefore this is primary which can be also written as primary carbocation. Now this tells these are the intermediate reactive intermediates formed and therefore this is going to get different product and this is going to get uh, secondary carbocation is going to give different products with and then secondary primary carbocation. So let us see what is the product possible in both the cases. We know that the remaining part of the reagent is going to come Later on, to neutralize the deficient center, and therefore they are going to get the product in the case number one as what is the name of the product? Isopropyl bromide. So this is isopropyl bromide of okay. And in the this case, what do we get as the product? In this also, the remaining part of the reagent is attacking in the second step to neutralize the center CH2 This is primary or propyl bromide. This is propyl bromide, which is different than the isopropyl bromide. Propyl bromide. Now, which one is more in more amount? Which product is found in more amount? First one, that is isopropyl bromide is formed in more amount. Why? That depends upon the intermediate which is formed. So, which is the intermediate secondary carbocation which is more stable than primary carbocation in the other case which is formed. So, therefore, the major product is going to be isopropyl bromide. This is the major product. And propyl bromide is the minor product. So now in this case, you have seen that when the substrate is unsymmetrical and also the reagent is unsymmetrical, 
then there is a possibility that two drugs are formed. Then which is going to be formed depends upon the intermediate or that is what is the reaction mechanism. Because it includes all the actual steps taking place in the reaction which will predict what will be the product which is formed in major amount. And whether byproduct is formed or not formed, everything is told by the reaction mechanism. So therefore, when there is a possibility of two products which can be formed, then there is going to be some rule. So similar reactions are studied by Russian scientist Marko Mikov. Marco Mikovs. A number of reactions, similar time he has studied, and then a rule is framed which says that the electrophile or the proton, generally it is proton which is the electrophile, or you can say simply electrophile, will add to the carbon atom, unsymmetrical carbon atom, unsaturated, unsymmetrical carbon atom, which has more number of hydrogens. The rule says that. The electrophile or the proton will add to the unsymmetrical carbon, unsaturated carbon atom which has more number of hydrogen atoms. And that is going to be the major product. That is the rule. So the remaining that is the uh, elimination reaction and rearrangement reaction we will do in the next class. <laughs>